I got something really cool to show you here today. Just bear with me. I'm gonna give you a couple temperature readings and we're gonna go from there. So here on the side of the shop, outdoor temperature. It says minus 35, okay? Put that in the back of your brain and hold it there for one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm in the greenhouse. It's noon and it's above zero on this wall. Above zero, uh, about half an hour ago, it was about minus 10 when the thermometer wasn't in the sun, but the sun's coming around. Um, it's still, I think, yeah, I mean, there's below zero, but this is proof that having an attached building onto another building, uh, the building envelope complements each other. So in the fall and the spring, this building stays warm because the shop is heated and it keeps the plants warmer. So I don't have to light a fire then. And now in the dead of winter, it's January, middle of January, minus 35 outside. It's above zero on that wall. Um, it's actually tempering the environment around this building, which is totally awesome. That's way less BTUs I need to heat this wall. This wall is 46 feet long. Okay, so this whole wall for 12 feet for 46 feet long is tempered to the outside environment. That is a complimented building envelope. I'm pretty excited about that. That aside, this building was supposed to be about Ben Peterson's wood gas um, review. Let me get with it. First of all, Ben didn't pay me anything to do this. This was an independent review of his book. And after using, utilizing his book and building the gasifier, I give it an 11 out of 10. The book is absolutely amazing. The Wood Gasifier Builder's Bible. If you want to build a gasifier and have a working unit, use Ben's design. It is unbelievable. I, have, I haven't used any other design, but it worked from day one. I had no troubles with it. it. It just fired right up and I've been making gas ever since. Here's my unit behind me at the moment. It's kind of been snow. It's on the skid. I gotta get the shop cleaned up so I can get it inside. What, I'm, what the next improvement's gonna be in is not an improvement on Ben's design, it's an improvement to make it work for me as a harvesting the heat from the gas. So I can dump the heat into a thermal mass in the greenhouse and Connie can plant her ceilings on it this spring while we're charging batteries and, and utilizing, basically utilizing that biomass for heat and electricity all in one. So that's the next big improvement I'm gonna be doing on the unit. And I'm gonna leave you with a slideshow of the build so you can see how it all come together. Enjoy. Listen to the fever of the bleeder bomb. Listen to the tingle of the sweetest bomb. Second her to be the drink of Peter's from I got a high strength feeling like a beaver bomb. Of the 